uh, students today we are going to uh, perform the experiment of uh, colorimetric estimation of uh, copper to do that we are going to use the colorimeter so this is the instrument what we are using for the colorimeter here <coughs> the five buttons are there so the first one it is going to used for set the instrument or for the calibration of the instrument we are using it second button we are using it for the determination of od optical density then the modes which mode you want it that will be used by either the with this button and the calibration is done by this one so here we are having the n number of uh, six to seven filters we are having with the help of these two buttons we are going to change the filters the purpose of using the filter is whichever filter gives the maximum optical density that filter we are going to choose for the experiment so today we are going for the colorimetric estimation so this is based on beer lambert's law which says that the decrease in the intensity of a monochromatic light depends upon the thickness and concentration of a solution so here we need to prepare a calibration curve to prepare a calibration curve we need to have the standard solution and a blank solution we are going to prepare five standard solutions using copper sulfate solution ammonium and water we are going to take the copper sulfate in a burette ammonia solution in another burette by measured quantity of copper sulfate we are going to take we are supposed to prepare the standard solution so in the first bottle we are supposed to take 5 ml of cuso4 solution for that we are going to add 10 ml of ammonia and we are making that solution to 50 ml so that we can get a concentration of 0.001 copper mg per dm cube of copper so similarly in the second one we are going to take 10 ml of copper sulfate 10 ml of ammonia and we are making it 50 ml and at that time we are going to get a concentration of 0.02 similarly we are going to prepare another three so that we can get a concentration of 0.003 0.004 and 0.005 so so in the same way we have prepared the we have prepared the first solution with the 5 ml of cuso4 second solution with the 10 ml of cuso4 third one with the 15 ml of cuso4 fourth one with the 20 ml of cuso4 and the last one with the 25 ml of cuso4 for all these bottles we have added 10 ml of ammonia and remaining quantity of water along with that we have prepared the one more solution that is called as a blank solution so blank solution is used to calibrate the instrument so here while taking the while preparing the solution we are going to use the copper sulfate we are going to fill the copper sulfate solution in a burette then we are going to take water in the another burette need to add it for the, all the bottles so we are using the measuring cylinder for this ammonia so by doing this we have prepared all the five solutions along with the blank solution now we are going to determine the optical density of a solution the nestler's tube this we are calling as a nestler's tube so in this first solution we are going to take a bit very little solution we are supposed to take and we need to rinse it solution throw it to the sink fill the visco fill the work nestler's tube fill the nestler's with the first solution make sure that there should it should not be wet so using the filter paper it should be dry and there should not be any fingerprints on the surface of the nestler's tube then so 
Before going for the reading, I would like to calibrate this instrument for zero. To set it for a zero, I have taken the blank solution in one of the Nestler's tube. I am going to insert it into the cavity. So here is the cell in that I am going to insert it, this one. Now I am going to set this instrument for zero. So I am going to press the button zero because I have used a blank solution. So I will press it for zero. So now the instrument is calibrated. Now I will take the first solution which I already filled in a which I already filled in a Nestler's tube. So I am going to remove this one and I am going to insert the, the first solution. So my observation what I am going to get here is it is 0 0.06 you can see here it is 0 0.06. So, in this way, we are going to check it. So, I want to check whether the same reading, I will get it one more time. So, to do that thing, I am again inserting the blank solution and I want to check it as it is showing 0 or no. So, it means that now it is showing 0, 0 means that the in instrument is calibrated. Now, again I will insert my first solution. I will check, I will get the same reading or no. So, I am getting again it as 0 0.06. So, the same reading I am going to write it in my tabular column. So, it is going to be 0 0.06. Okay. So, in this way we are going to find out the optical density of all the solutions and every time you can replace it the solution with a blank. Throw that first solution in a same way you are going to take the second liquid. Now I am going to take the second liquid. So we will observe what I am going to get. I am going to get it as point, point 0.14. So similarly, again I am going to insert this blank and I am going to find out all the solutions along with that I am going to find out the unknown, the optical density of unknown solution. So in the same way we have prepared all, we have prepared and we have, we have determined the optical density of second, third, fourth, fifth and unknown solution. So we have got very beautiful readings. So this is what we are done. Now we need to go for the optical density. We need to plot a graph of optical density versus concentration of copper ions. The nature of a graph will be like this. We will go for the calculation. So we need to plot a graph of optical density versus the concentration of ions. So here is the graph. The concentration of copper ions against optical density. So the readings are 7, 14, 21, 28, 35 and unknown is 0, 9. So first we draw the calibration curve then we plotted the unknown optical density by a dotted line then from there we draw a perpendicular so it cut at 0.0012. So now we will go for the calculation. So the calculation is M1 V1 is equal to M2 V2. In a way same way where how we used to do N1 V1 is equal to N2 V2. So now V1 is equal to M2 into V2 divided by M1. So that is nothing but v1 is equal to m2 m2 we are getting it from the graph so here here we got it as 0 0.0012 that will be substituted here the volume the volume of a <coughs> volumetric flask whatever we have taken so that's going to be 50 ml that we have substituted and the normal the molarity of a copper sulfate is 0 0.01 by doing this calculation we are going to get the answer as 6 ml so the amount of copper sulfate 
that we have taken in the preparation of unknown solution is 6 ml so the result is volume of unknown solution is 6 cm cube so this is how we are going to calculate the concentration of uh, copper using colorimetric method